Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do it on the jam session. We cook up every single game, every single day, man. Yesterday, we smashed our NBA player of the day with the Orlando Magic, man. They took the Grizzlies behind the woodshed, man. Really nice bounce back spot for them at home, at the crib. The best home favorite in the NBA, man. Um... It was a really small car yesterday, but we got a really nice one today, man. And y'all know the drill, man. I'm going to cook it up and try to smash it per usual. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site. Money making sunday let me get y'all boys in and out of here man let's cook up this nba action first game up we got the uh denver chicken nuggets at home at the crib cleveland coming in denver line moving down now um four and a half i see for the nuggets nikola Jokic game time decision J jamal murray game time decision with the line moving like it is that may suggest that one or maybe both of these guys may not play. Um, regardless, though, I would take the Nuggets at the small line. Say they get listed out, I still think the Nuggets can win comfortably. The Nuggets go stupid, dummy, crazy at home at the crib. We don't really like betting Cleveland on the road. Cleveland hasn't shown us really much of anything to even suggest that they go into Denver and win this basketball game. This is also a revenge game for the Nuggets at home at the crib after losing to Cleveland way back in November uh, in the only meeting that those teams have played against each other this season. This is the fifth home game in their last six games for the Nuggets. So comfortable at home at the crib. They've lost back to back uh, to Phoenix, to Minnesota. But these boys still in the hunt for the um, first seed in the West. They did lose to Minnesota the other day and dropped down to the three seed. Um, but still. A handful of games left to go. They're still in it. So I don't expect them and these boys to just lay down. Bounce back spot at home at the crib. That also happens to be a revenge game. has been one of my favorite spots all season in the NBA. Regardless of how the injury report shakes up, I like the Nuggets at home at the crib. First game of the day. Next game up, man, we got the Los Angeles Lake Show Lakers out on the road facing the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Lakers land six and a half in this one. Small lean on the Lake Show Lakers. Y'all know me, man. I've been fading the Nets. Uh, it's been pretty profitable as well because they're a sharp falling knife. I will say, recently they've been playing well. They've won three straight, but I just think it creates more value. Revenge game for the Lakers as they lost to the Nets back in uh, January on the 19th, 130 to 112 in Los Angeles. Um, you know, Lakers were playing really well. I thought that it was a great spot to take the Pacers in the last game the Lakers played because it was just, you know, Lakers had been pressing and it just looked like a letdown spot for them. I don't see that as that today. I know LeBron and Anthony Davis are listed as game time decision. I expect them to play. They've been listed game time decision every game this year. So Lake Show Lakers for me there. If they play their Lakers style basketball, they win that game by double digits in New York on a Saturday, I mean, on a Sunday on Easter, I expect LeBron and Anthony Davis to come out and hoop, man. I'm on the Lakers in that one. We got the Clippers laying 14 and a half on Charlotte. I would not lay 14 and a half with the Clippers. Um, I can't do it, won't do it. Sorry. If you like the Clippers, if you want to lay that style number with them, go ahead and do it. But coming out of the break, ATS, they haven't been great. Um, and I can see this as a go through the motion style game. Yes, I believe they win it. Um, Yes, they're head and shoulders better than the Hornets. Not laying 14 and a half points with the Clippers. Not doing it. Can't do it. So, fuck them respectfully. We got the Sixers and the Philadelphia 76ers. Philadelphia laying 11 and a half. I lean towards the Sixers in this one. Um, you know, the Nick Nurse angle back in Toronto. Uh, you know, I can just see the Sixers motivated to do something here. You know, need a nice bounce back game. This could be that. The Raptors have waved the white flag. They're terrible. Um, Sixers for me. Sixers have won all three meetings this season. I think they do it. Uh, I think they sweep them, win all four. 
and they probably win it dominantly. Not necessarily rushing to lay double digits with Philadelphia on the road, but when I look for the extra motivational factors in this game, I can see how the line is where it's at, and I can see Philadelphia getting up and over that number in a bounce-back spot against a team they are, in my opinion, much better than. So lean towards Philadelphia laying the points there. We got the Heat laying 10.5 on the Wizards. I don't like laying double digits with Miami at home. At home, I feel like fade Miami at laying double digits more often than not, you're going to make a pretty penny. They did blow the doors. I'm talking about kick the living crap out of Portland the other day at home. Um, man, they kicked them. Boy, they blew the doors off of them. And here they are, head and shoulders, a better team. I can, I feel better laying double digits with Miami on the road than I do at home. I know that sounds crazy, but the numbers back that up. Um, Washington, I've, I've told you guys for a good amount of time, they're the worst team in the league. They're my worst team in the NBA, 30 of 30 in my power rankings. Small lean towards Miami, not necessarily rushing to lay double digits, but I do believe it's the right play. We got the Thunder Buddies as a dog in New York. Looks like my gay, my guy Shag. Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> Looks like my guy Shagilas Alexander uh, will not play. Looks like he's doubtful for this one. Um, the Knicks injury report is kind of concerning as well, though. Mitchell Robinson game time decision, Hardenstein game time decision, Burks game time decision, and a newbie out. Look, Thunder have been great as a road dog all season. They're more than just Shea Gilius Alexander. The Thunder are the better basketball team. We just saw the Knicks lose outright to the Spurs. They can definitely lose outright to the Oklahoma City Thunder. You feel me? Like, this is kind of disrespectful, in my opinion. I'm on Oklahoma City here, money line. Um, I think this is a legitimate 50-50 game, and getting this much plus money with Oklahoma City, who, in my opinion, is the better team anyway, sign me up. Both teams are banged up, so you feel me? I'm on the uh, Thunder Buddies in that one. Money line. Next game up, we got my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks, laying two and a half on the Houston Rockets. Both teams are red hot, man. Rockets, shout out to them, man. They, uh, we've been on them in this win streak. We we did fade them in that last game with Utah. Thought they were a, li a little bit overvalued. We know they've struggled on the road for the most part. They did win the game. Shout out to them. But ATS, they did not cover. At home has been the spot for the Rockets all season. We've been made a really pretty penny betting Houston in Houston this season. Thing is, we've made a really pretty penny betting Mavs on the road as road favorites as well. Um, the Mavs as road favorites this year has been their spot. So both teams red hot. Something has to give here. When I think, when I just look at these two teams, I think the Mavs are head and shoulders the better basketball team. And when I go back and look at the Houston Rockets win streak, I think the Mavs are by far the best team that the Rockets have played on that win streak. Um, you know, the Thunder were banged up when they played them, so that's why I say that. But And when you go through, they kind of weren't playing really anybody during the win streak, not taking anything away from them and from what they've done at home. But the Mavs, I feel like, are playing on another level right now. Like, guys, my NBA Finals now is Mavs-Celtics. I'm so serious. Um, I think the Mavs are the best team in the Western Conference based off what I've seen from them recently. I really believe that. Um, and I think they are the team to dethrone the Houston Rockets. The Mavs are definitely the better team here. We know when they're the better team on the road, well, they win and cover. Let me give you the number right quick just because Mavs, as an away favorite this season, are 16 and four ATS. They've covered an 80% clip. You feel me? Rockets do be balling at home at the crib. Rockets have been balling recently, but the Mavs are the best team they've played on this win streak, and I think the Mavs get it done. Um, I know the injury report, Luka Doncic game time decision. I expect him to play. And even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't, I expect him to play, but even if he doesn't, I think the Mavs get it done. We got the Bulls getting eight and a half in Minnesota. Small lean towards the Chicago Bulls in that one. Um, I know they just lost to Brooklyn. It was disgusting. 
I know this is a revenge game at home at the crib for the Minnesota Timberwolves looking for their fifth straight win, fifth home game in their last six games. Um, spot sets up really well for Minnesota. But if you've been watching the jam session for a good amount of time, you know we have Minnesota in a separate box because of the house of disappointment. And they don't follow the systems that every other team doesn't. That's why we call them the house of disappointment. And when the spot sets up as beautifully as it does today for them, they usually disappoint ATS. So I can't trust them here. Um, I, it sets up really nice for Minnesota. It really does. But I know them. I know this team. Um, this is going to be like a four to five point win for them if they win it at all. The Bulls might win this game outright. Just based off these two team tendencies over the last two seasons, this is a style game the Timberwolves lose outright. So, small lean on the Chicago Bulls in that one, just based off those two teams' tendencies. We got the Warriors getting eight and a half or laying eight and a half on San Antonio. Small lean on Golden State. I just, I'm not wanting to fade Golden State right now. They're trying to keep the Rockets off of that last playing spot. They're low-key trying to catch the Lakers for the other one. Um, they've won three straight against teams they're better than, and I think the same thing happens here. The Warriors have been a much better cover team on the road. We just saw them um, beat up on the Spurs in San Antonio not too long ago, 112-102 on the 11th of March, so about 20 days ago or so. I think they're likely to do it again here. Small lean on the Warriors. Last and final game, man, we got the Kings laying 12 and a half on the Jazz. I never trust the Kings as sizable home favorites. I don't really trust the Jazz on the road either. Pass type game for me, man. In all honesty, maybe a lean on the over. Not a whole lot of defense being played here. Um, so, sorry. I know I don't usually do that, but I don't like that Jazz-Kings game at all. But, what I do like are the plays I have over at Pick Dogs Premium. We are having a tremendous season over there, and we're just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward. You can hop on the NBA play of the day. You can hop on something long-term and get everything that I have, every single sport over at Pick Dogs Premium. Or you can continue to watch this gem session, man. Or if you're a bigger better out there, you can join my all-access club. The information for that is in the description below, man. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. Man, let's continue to kick the crap out of the books. I'll see y'all boys tomorrow, man. I'm out of here. Peace.